Since yesterday, I've been flooded with DMs about the UP girl hitting a cab driver in the middle of the road in Lucknow. The viral video shows a lanky young woman raining slaps on a cab driver and breaking his phone at the busy hour traffic light on Friday, 30th of July. In the video, the woman can be seen slapping the driver named Shahadat Ali multiple times in front of a cop who tried to intervene. A man in the background could be heard saying, Are Battamiz Aurat hai ye, while another said, Rose ka natak hai ye. Wonder what that means. Now, there are a lot of versions of this story in the media, but the slap fest scene in the video is as real as it gets and clearly what the woman did was wrong. But did she have reasons to do so? Did the driver almost run over her? To know this, you have to watch this video that clearly shows how the signal is read and yet the vehicles continue to jump and keep moving, a scene very common across India. This girl walks into the traffic stream and the white wagoner stops right before her and then suddenly appears her dabang avatar, bringing out the worst in her. She pulls out the driver and starts teaching him a lesson one slap at a time. For some odd reason, jumping every time, she slaps him. As always, I cannot risk showing the entire assault video here on YouTube or else I'll get more strikes from YouTube than Ali got from that girl. But if you're watching this video on my Instagram, then the assault videos will play next. But before we dissect the incident and how right or wrong it is, let me tell you that an FIR has been registered against the woman by the Lucknow police. This is the latest development in this case. The additional DCP of Lucknow police, Chiranjiv Nath Sena, has confirmed this. Earlier, the Lucknow police took preventive action against both the parties issuing a chalan to Ali, two others and the woman under the CRPC sections for breach of peace. Now the video sparked outrage on Twitter with many users trending the hashtag arrest Lucknow girl. The incident also once again fired up the debate about feminism and gender equality with many questioning how the world would have come crashing down on the man if it was the other way around. And he had so much as even touched the girl. Also, many versions of the story came out in the media, but the fact is that the police have confirmed that there was no evidence of any eve teasing with the girl as misreported earlier. Nor did the men hit her and run away. But the fact is that the signal was read and no one stopped. Everyone who jumped the signal was at fault. The woman on her part casually walked into the traffic and some even noticed that she was wearing earphones. When the white wagoner stopped, everyone else did and the traffic from the other side started flowing. In this entire incident, the one who seems to be the most at fault is the traffic police who should have manned the traffic rather than letting them blatantly violate the rules. The woman in effect did what the traffic police should have done, but she had no business taking the law in her own hands. She simply could have taken down the car number and reported it or at least called the traffic police present at the signal and complained to him. Hopefully he would have taken some action at least then. One other annoying thing that happened in this case and that happens so often in India is when people just stop their car in the middle of the road to settle scores even after a minor accident while the traffic builds up behind them. They have no regard for the honking cars and even wailing ambulances waiting and suffering for no fault of theirs. I have been often at the receiving end of such jams back in Mumbai and I have never ever understood this kind of utter disregard for other people's inconvenience. We just take it for granted, isn't it? That it's our right to just stand in the middle of the road and fight it out while everyone else waits. This is exactly what happened here too. The woman not only went on a slapping spree, but also was blissfully unaware of the chaos that she was causing right behind her at the signal. Now in the latest update, Ali's brother Inayat, who was among those chalaned by the police, has said that they were harassed by the police and added that his family will file a complaint against the woman. He said, police issued chalan for me also, although I was not even present during this incident. The cops took my brother to the police station, so I went there to save him. They sent us to jail on the same night. Next day, our lawyer came and got us bail. This is what he has told the print. He even said that my brother was not at fault. His cab didn't even touch the girl. I don't know whether she was drunk or not, but she did it intentionally. And now the UP police has filed an FIR against the Chata Queen. Sure enough, both the parties were at fault, but the question here is, who is more at fault? and what can be done to avoid repeat of such incidents in future. But on a separate note, here's some good news, if you trust me that is. There's an unbelievable offer of full 40% off on the 90 day supply of the It Really Works vitamins. You know about those, right? This is for all of you who ask me about the It Really Works vitamins and their effectiveness in giving you back the thick volume of hair that you may have lost like I did, or if you have been struggling with hair thinning and hair loss issues. 
I know every hair product claims to work best for you, but it's very rare that we actually find the one that gives us visible results and really works. I found this. I know this one's very expensive and which is why this discount is a big relief and must be used if you are looking to order. The link for this discount is in the description and you just have to add the code THICKHAIR40 to get your 40% off on any 90 day supply of It Really Works Vitamins and thank me later. You can connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook, it's at the rate reviewed on. Of course, you can subscribe here if you find my videos worth it. But even if you don't do any of those things, including not buying It Really Works Vitamins, it's because I believe in this product, I tell you. But even if you don't do that, thank you so much for watching this one. Please take care of yourself and those around you. Jai Hind.